Welcome back YouTube to episode 3 of the Honda Street Cup build series. I appreciate you guys watching and subscribing. Um, things are about to change a little bit. We're kind of going backwards. I'm going to change some things up. I'll let you know what that's going to be in here in just a minute. But I just wanted to thank you guys. Primarily Asia. I, this, this, uh, this build is going really well on YouTube. Uh, I've got a lot of uh, views and a lot of new subscribers primarily from Asia. I just wanted to take a minute to thank you guys in their own language. So thank you in America, uh, Kap Kun Kap in Thailand, and Indonesian is uh, Makasi Banyak, and uh, Japan, Arigato. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, keep watching the, uh, the, the, the build. I've got some exciting new projects here. Um, right now, I've got this light, this little LED light. I'm going to put that in there. At some point, that'll be, go along the, the way. I've got our gold chain here. And then, check this out. You guys remember this. Looking sweet. We'll check this out. We'll pull this out of here. I decided, nope, need a bigger rim. We upgraded from the 120 to the 150. Bam. A little bit different profile. We're going to do this. We'll have to widen this, uh, this fender here. And the sun was shining big time. I had to shut this garage. But here it is. This is the new tire. What happened was I had the uh, 120. Actually, this tire with this uh, 120 tire was on this 425 rim. And I feel like, well, first of all, I tried to find a 100. Um, by 60, 17 front tire, and that, those really don't exist. And then I did a little bit of research, and the 425 wheel is designed for a 150 tire, and the 350 wheel is designed for a 120 tire. So I kind of did it a little bit wrong, and I'm fixing that. It's a pretty dramatic difference, but a year and a half ago when I got these wheels, this is this is the vision that I was going for. So obviously this is a huge difference here. Um, I'm going to need to probably, when I put the sprocket in, I'm gonna, probably going to need to sp space the sprocket out because the tire is going to start rubbing in the rim. But I re really need to bend this fender a lot. And then you notice I have these shocks pushed, pushed out, otherwise they'll run into the, the tire. I don't know if I like it or not, but there's no going back at this point. So that's what I'm going to do. It should be pretty aggressive here. And like I said, I've got the, the gold chain to match. So this series is going to be dedicated to getting this set up. It's kind of, we're kind of doing things twice, but at least last episode I spaced the wheel out. So let's get to work here. Yeah, so I need to pull this wheel out of here and get the shocks removed off of here. At least I can just slide them out of the way like this. Probably just do like that. Well, I need to bend these... Uh, the spender to get the uh, tire to fit in there. So do that and that swing arm will lower down, way down. And for this I just bought a, uh, I didn't know, I don't really know exactly the best way to do this, but I bought this clamp because it's got the plastic um, little like rubber pads, or rubber or plastic, whatever they are. And my idea was to just kind of grab here and then I could kind of start bending the fender out. Um, so I'm gonna try that. Let's see what happens here. So I know that the tire fits pretty good right here. I'm gonna try to match this first. And I'm gonna do that by just uh, hooking this guy up. Starting here. Actually, I should probably start back here a ways. Let's try that. Just kind of bend this out. I'm gonna take my time on it. He's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna to try to work, I'm gonna keep working it and bend that out to match. So it's starting to flare out here in comparison. I think I'm liking that. Yep. And see, before we had this 
it was just like this, like it wasn't all contoured in one, in one uh, width. This guy it is, so I'm gonna keep working that. All right, getting a little closer, I bent, bent it out quite a bit there um, and, and here, just using that, this guy here. Um, be, being that it has two shocks here, I don't think it's gonna, the suspension is gonna travel up and down too far. So I think what I'll do is put an axle through here and see how this works. All right, so I kind of have the wheel mocked up. As you can see, look how close the uh, shocks are. Mega close, uh, actually rubbing probably. Um, but the fender is still a long ways off. So I'll, st I'll still have to take care of that. I'm gonna bend this out a little bit more and uh, keep going. Look at these dang things, they are sweet. Oh, the 232 ruckus, got the wheels pulled off. That's for another video, but um, getting those wheels cut. And I decided instead of the LED light, I'm gonna put the factory light back on. Just different look. So that'll be another video. But if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. There's a little blue bell on the right hand corner of the video. Click that. You'll be notified when new videos come out, new episodes. And I truly appreciate you guys watching and subscribing. You give me the ability to do what I love to do every day. Thank you. All right, well, I'm flaring it out hard here. And I'm not rippling the paint really too bad. I think I can go back through and perfect it. This paint's not that great anyway, but I think we're we're getting somewhere here. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, I didn't know if you noticed. Street Cub, huh? Oh yeah, got my shirt on, bought it in Thailand. Only place you're gonna find a C70 shirt. I think we're coming along here. And the paint's looking good too. It's not, it's not all jacked up, so. This sucker is close though. I don't think the suspension's gonna to move much um, just because I got dual suspension, but we're really close back in here too. So I can, I actually need to paint the, uh, the sprockets or the sprocket and this guy. I can put it on, but I think we're coming along. Everything, one problem. See my shocks? Get the get in the shadow here. See my shock? If I go all the way in, I'm gonna be hitting the tire. So I'm gonna do something about that. Probably drill a pilot hole there, and then put some spacers with a uh, screw so that it doesn't slide off of there. Probably what I'm gonna do. The other thing is, see the sprocket, the chain is gonna hit the tire. So I'm gonna have to take the sprocket off and space it out little ways and then same thing over here i'm gonna have to pull this guy off space the sprocket out but doesn't look bad all right so everything is kind of like torqued down and see i've got i've got a little bit of room to put a nut on i think i might put a real thin nut on there with a with a, a safety wire so in case the nut ever came off and then uh, of course i need to uh you know build up the threads here um, i can't just run this on the thread so i'm gonna do something about that and then I just measured so everything is like I need to bring this sprocket out for sure because if you look straight down it's gonna run into the tire the chain well so I measured basically the distance between uh, here and here we're looking at seven millimeters so I think I'm gonna put a five millimeter spacer five or six millimeter spacer in there that way we can space out the sprocket and then once that's done, I can worry about up here. But uh, that's what I need to do right now. Pull the wheel off, paint the sprocket, space it out. While I'm, while I'm there, I'm gonna paint this guy too, and then uh, this one as well. So that when I, I'm all ready to go with this. And then this guy, I don't know, it's a pretty sweet light, LED. I think once I get the ring, a lot of guys, they do a, a different handlebar, like aftermarket. 
I kind of like this one. I kind of want to keep it like, I know it's a little bit different build, but I kind of like that. I kind of want to get this LED bulb. It's a fog light for a Jeep installed there. And then uh, to put the ring on there to hold it in. I might have to hack into this, uh, this uh, bar here to, to make it work. I've already removed this uh, basically the bracket for it. So we'll see what happens there, but I'm really excited to get this back wheel done so we can move on here. Uh, but geez, there's so much work to be done. I had it when I had that other wheel, but this tire I think looks better anyway. It's a little overkill, but God, it looks sweet. And I got the wheel pulled and this guy just pops out of the cush drive there. Um, but anyway, it looks like I'll probably have to do longer bolts maybe, but uh, I'll put spacers right behind the sprocket there. Uh, five millimeter, I'll start with five millimeter. And then if I need to go a little bit more, I can just slide a washer in there. Um, but I gotta pop these, uh, these off, then I'll get this thing painted. Moving right along, a lot of work here. Making some custom stuff never is easy, but it's fun, it sure is fun. There it is. Pull those off. Um, like I said, I'm just gonna put some five millimeter spacers, set them there. And uh, I think I'm gonna have to get longer bolts too. Five millimeters longer. I actually just had some spacers cut. I'll see if they work. Um, gotta go get them at our shop. Check it out. Got everything prepped. I just need to paint these, but I'm out of semi-gloss paint. And then uh, I'm gonna clean this up and then I'll you know, get the rust off of it and paint it. You're really not supposed to be using uh, used sprockets with a new chain, but the chain is so dang cheap, 20 bucks. I wasn't gonna do that. Um, I know I'm gonna change it again anyway, so I won't worry about that right now. I know the risk. So I'm gonna go get those spacers, get some paint, and keep working. I thought I'd pull off this cover to kind of figure out what I'm gonna do with this sprocket. I'm gonna have to come out five millimeters, but as you can see, it's it's locked into place. I think maybe the best bet is to buy another sprocket, and then I can space it out. You know, well, get creative and weld it. You know, so that it comes out. Basically, there'd be two sprockets on there, but it would uh, it'd be welded out. I'm not sure, but this needs to be moved out, and it's not gonna happen this way because there's a safety on there, the this little key. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off. I just removed these bolts. They're little guys, um, and as you can see, uh, there's this this guy. If you turn it, then it comes off. That's like the safety, and then uh, you can slide this. This should just slide right off. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna have to get creative. I'm gonna have to uh, probably order another one of these. Episode three is gonna be drawn out. Might even go into episode four, um, but. That's what I'm gonna need to do. Here are the spacers I had in mind. Perfect. Maybe, we'll see. And order some sprockets. Doesn't look like they have them for the, the ST90 and the C70 is probably, looks like they all use the same. Part number's pretty close to the same. I'll probably just order for the C70. There we go, get these sprockets coming.